Okay, let's talk about the GED exam. And uh, the whole point of this video is to give you some information and maybe even some motivation so you can finally get that GED. Because if you don't have your GED right now, you definitely need to get your high school equivalency. Get that out of your way. I mean, that's a huge, important goal in your life. Obviously, if you're watching this video, uh, you know you've been thinking about the GED or maybe another test uh, like the high set or task. But, you know, maybe you don't have your high school diploma right now. Okay, that's likely the case if you're watching this video. You need to get this part of your life taken care of. And the main thing about this video is we don't want to let math stop you from getting your GED. The number one section on the GED that gives most people um, uh, trouble is the math section. So um, I'm going to talk about some tips some strategies so you can finally pass uh, GED math and get your GED. Uh, so if this resonates with you, then that's excellent because uh, this uh, video is going to be very helpful. And um, I'm speaking from a lot of experience here. I've been helping people uh, get their GED or pass the, um, the GED math section for several years. I've heard every sort of type of story. Um, and um, believe me when I tell you, there's not one person out there that can't get their GED. Of course, you have to be willing to do the work, and I want to talk about all that in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades, and I really developed a style of instruction that is super clear and understandable. Okay, so obviously we're talking about the GED, but uh, if you know anybody that's at the middle school, high school, or college level, I can definitely help them out. Or maybe you um, intend to go to college, you might want to uh, check back in my program. Also, uh, test prep, obviously we're going to be talking about the GED, but there's other test prep courses that I do. Of course, I do um, homeschool math courses as well. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave... Um, links to my notes in the description of this video, but stick around. I'm going to give you some very, very specific information about GED math and how you can pass this test. So let's start talking about the GED right now. And the first thing I want you to know is that you can pass, okay? You can pass uh, GED math. Uh, so if you have doubts about your ability to do math, I don't care what your past background is. It could be, I hate math and I failed every single math course in middle school or maybe high school. Okay, excellent. You can still pass <laughs> GED math. You, don't, you can't associate anything from your past to where you're at right now. Okay, you're a different person um, and uh, whatever happened uh, to you in the past in terms of your education, how you got derailed, um, you know, whether it was your fault or uh, some circumstance, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, we're talking about right now. So uh, all you really need to pass a GED is uh, the motivation to put in the work. Okay, so the first thing is you can pass. Now, the second thing I want to, to kind of know, okay, right up front, is that really there is no uh, shortcuts. All right, so um, there unfortunately is a lot of kind of uh, programs out there, uh, websites and products, and uh, I kind of call them kind of schemes of like, hey, you can uh, learn, um, you know, everything you need to know about the GED in three days and pass. Well, look, if you're focused on shortcuts, maybe you've already used some of these shortcuts. You're not, that's not the proper way to do things, okay? Uh, maybe I shouldn't even use that word in terms of proper. It's not effective. You're not going to be successful. Okay, so shortcuts in general um, do not work. So when it comes to GED math, don't take shortcuts. Okay, what you need is to be committed. Okay, to committed, be committed, working an intelligent plan. And um, if you follow a great plan without taking shortcuts, you will pass. Now let's talk about a little bit about the math that is on the GED. So the GED uh, changed fairly dramatically. I want to say 2013, 2014 was their big year of change, but it used to have a reputation years and years ago of being kind of real easy, like basic level math, and it wasn't that difficult to pass a GED because the GED test itself has been out for a good 60, 70 years. But in fact, uh, to pass you know, uh, the GED math section now and over the last few years, you definitely need to know high school level math, and we're talking about algebra and geometry. Okay, and this is really like real deal algebra and geometry. You're going to have to know, 
you know, um, a good amount of both uh, subjects. And we're not talking about basic stuff either, like, oh, 2x is equal to 10. And um, if you know how to do this, that's great. If this is like kind of advanced for you, don't worry. I'll give you some um, guidance on how you can learn. But I'm talking about fairly, you know, um, fairly advanced algebra and geometry questions. Not super, super advanced, like college level kind of stuff. But the whole idea with today's GED is to, um, when you pass, that you're kind of um, really prepared to start like a course of instruction in college, okay? So again, we're, you know, you are talking about um, high school equivalency and uh, most students in high school have to pass a full year of algebra and have to pass a full year of geometry amongst other um, um, uh, courses as well. So yes, in, in fact, there, you know, you're going to need to know these topics. And again, you know, in um, high school, Students are given one full year in algebra, and uh, this could be a little bit different uh, depending on what school students go to. But this, in general, this is where most students lie in high school. Maybe you uh, you kind of remember this a bit, but students spend at least a year studying algebra and at least another year studying geometry. That's a lot of time. So there's no way that you're going to be able to just kind of review all this in like five days or a couple of weeks and be ready for the test. Okay, because the GED uh, test is pretty challenging okay so this is a bit of um, at least in the math section uh, some of the basic kind of oh, big picture stuff and there's other things by the way that I'm not talking about here stuff like basic uh, statistics and some other type of uh, data related type of uh, question so but again you know uh, this is why I want to tell you right now there is not going to be any shortcuts for you to be fully prepared for the GED Okay, so now let's talk about how you um, how you can actually pass. Like, what do you need to do? Well, it, it's going to really all depend in terms of the amount of time. It's going to depend upon, uh, upon um, you know, your starting point. Okay, and I'm talking about the amount of time you, it's going to be required for you to study and pass a GED. So if you're coming, you know, let's say you happen to not complete the your senior year of high school, but you did very well and now you want to get your GED, that's going to, you know, be different than somebody who's been out of school 20, 30, 40, 50 years, okay? So, you know, be honest with yourself, and, um, you know, I would say in terms of a minimum, a minimal amount of time, you're probably talking like three months, maybe some of you might be up to one year of study, okay? But I think beyond, um, you know, beyond one year, uh, that's just too much time, okay? Even if you are starting from, you know, completely forgot everything you learned in math. If you had a one, one year of formal study, you could uh, build up your math skills to a level where you could pass uh, the GED. So again, if you if you need to pass, you know, within a, a month or a few weeks, well, I would, you know, still uh, say, hey, you know, study as hard as you possibly can, but be realistic about, you know, um, the possible results. Okay, so if you don't pass, you know, just continue to um, study until you do pass. Okay, all right. So now let's talk about how to study. Like, what should you? Um, what are some of your options in terms of courses? You know, like how should you approach this? Should you just go on YouTube? or go to different websites and, uh, you know, do a little bit here, a little bit there. Well, no, I'm going to actually uh, suggest that you do some sort of formal course uh, instruction. So there's a lot of different options out there. You could, in terms of, um, it's not really not a course, but you could buy a book, you know, at the bookstore or on Amazon. And that's pretty good, but I'm not, when it, we're talking about math here, that's not the way most people uh, learn math, okay? You want a course where you have a teacher, okay? Now, what sort of courses have teachers? Well, you can kind of enroll um, or think about enrolling in, a, in a, like an adult education class. They'll have GED classes on the weekend or night school. And those can be very effective. So you might want to check out uh, what's in your local community in terms of those type of courses. But I personally think uh, the best um, option for most people are, is going to be an online course because it's truly going to be the most flexible um, uh, kind of uh, platform for you to learn from. Okay. So everyone's got busy schedules and whatnot. And if you have to actually attend the school, that could be difficult in terms of your schedule and your other commitments. So 
you want to do some sort of formal course instruction, I actually offer a very, very effective GED math prep course. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, so it's, you know, again, has a high track record of helping people study. Very, very comprehensive for an insanely uh, cheap uh, price as well. But whether you use my course, find a course uh, that has an excellent teacher that you like and understand, and it should be video based as well. Okay, so you know that's the whole point. You know, you know in terms of you know, uh, taking advantage of this video, is if you just buy a book on Amazon or at the bookstore, you don't have really video support. You want to listen to a teacher, um, you know, and there are other programs out there. So find one that you like and that you trust. And, uh, you know, start from the beginning, okay? Work that course and build up your math skills. So you got to really have the mindset that math is a skill, okay? Uh, it is a skill. It's basically, uh, you think of it as, let's say, like playing basketball, okay? So I always like to use this analogy right here. Let's say you want to get better at uh, making uh, baskets, you know, shooting baskets in basketball, how do you get better at uh, basketball? Do you watch great basketball players? If you watched great basketball players make baskets all day long, is that actually going to improve your skill? No, it's not. And what I mean by that is you can watch a bunch of videos on YouTube, math videos, but you're not really learning. Okay, You, in fact, have to practice doing problems by yourself. Take practice tests. You have to practice and put in the hard work and... Um, that's what I talked about here. There's no shortcuts. Okay, so, i.e., you have to be willing to, you know, um, uh, don't, don't get yourself, you know, out of your comfort zone. Uh, I guess is what I'm saying. So don't confuse watching math videos, maybe on YouTube, as the same as you actually doing uh, mathematics. And the more practice you do, maybe you, you, um, you know, take. Let's say your first practice prom, you get it right. So it's just like someone playing basketball. If you shoot the basketball and you uh, get the hoop, you made the basket the first time, does that mean that you're going to make uh, your all the next 100 shots that come to follow after that one? No. Okay. You have to continue to practice because some of these things you're going to miss. And, uh, you know, it's a very good analogy. Okay. So don't do one or two practice problems. And if, even if you get those right, you're like, oh, okay, I must know math perfectly. No, practice, practice and build up your skill set. Because here's the thing, once you have a skill, okay, and mathematics is a skill, then you can do stuff with it. That's the whole idea behind your education here. Okay, you want to build up your math skill sets so you can, uh, you know, it's you're just going to have so many benefits to your life uh, from that, whether you want to continue on in another course of instruction, like college, or maybe a vocational school, or some of the uh, sort of certification, or just uh, generally, you know, being able to understand the world around you better, okay? So math is an excellent skill, so it's a win-win, okay? The, uh, you're going to build up your math skills, and you're going to cash in by getting that GED. So again, I'm going to leave a link to my GED math prep course um, in the description of this video, but if you forgot all of this, okay, if you're like, well, what's the main point? What do I want to leave you with? I want to leave you with the uh, simple message that you can absolutely uh, pass the GED math section, no matter where you're coming from in terms of your math background. So whatever story you might be telling yourself, if it's like, I'm terrible at math, I will always fail math, uh, there's no way I can pass that. You have to stop that. Okay, I'm here to tell you this, and I'm not being, um, you know, patronizing, you know, in terms of like, well, I'm just telling you what I think you want to hear. No, I'm telling you what you need to hear so you can make those changes and you can actually get your GD because it's very, very important that you uh, take care of this goal in your life. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. If you felt like this uh, uh, video helps you out in some small way, go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of great videos on my YouTube channel um, that can help you with the GED. Uh, tons of videos. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos uh, from basic math to advanced math like uh, calculus and everything in between. But again, uh, for the GED, you want a specific course of instruction. So instead of checking out various videos, you want to get into a course because there is kind of a specific type of curriculum you want to follow. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, on the GED test. 
uh, please, okay, follow through. You know, hopefully this video has motivated you. Follow through, pass that thing, and then, you know, let me know in the comment sections later on or maybe uh, my website and say, hey, I passed that GED. And, uh, you know, then I felt like, you know what, all these, you know, it takes work for me to make these uh, YouTube videos, but I do it because, you know, I'm passionate about helping people. So hopefully I helped at least somebody today by watching this video. Okay, so uh, again, I wish you all the best on your GED. Uh, thank you for your time and have a great day.